Hello, this is Pastor Dick Hood, and we'll be starting worship in a moment. Uh, got some special guests today. Many of you um, who look at our church service on a regular basis may not know the people who are actually uh, filming uh, the service and streaming it, but we've got our main videographer here uh, in Rita White, and she's accompanied, she's attorney Rita White, accompanied by her husband, Dr. Arande White. And while Rita, Rita is sitting behind a control panel with a laptop, Arande uh, is her, in this instance, assistant. And uh, Arande goes from uh, camera to camera, getting it in place. I think we use, what, three or four cameras? About four, yes. <laughs> and... Uh, and it's a beautiful thing, uh, a wonderful example of a husband uh, and wife supporting one another. And uh, Rita, why don't we begin with you, since I'm a gentleman, ladies first. Uh, tell us, uh, what, what are your thoughts about the video ministry at the church? Well, I think the video ministry has grown a lot from the beginning. Pre-COVID, we um, started with a tablet where we just utilized that um, um, process to take um, videos and make sure we spread spread the word throughout you know the nation with our live stream but then we actually um, transitioned into using iPhones and so what we're doing is we're using a program called Sling Studio that we've been growing and growing and I've been learning how to use it and use the different facets and it's been growing a lot so I think that's the main factors that we've been really able to really snapshot and video your message along with the music and the ministry that's really powerful and it's been able to grow and really transcend and spread out through the world with our with our video and service. Well Rita I really I love it I'm fascinated every week uh, when the service is over at some point, usually on Sunday afternoons, I uh, replay it and I just fall out laughing at some of the things uh, that I see you doing. It's very creative. And then Arande, uh, you help. Uh, you help your wife. You help to set up the, um, you know, the, the cameras, uh, the, the cell phone cameras and uh, sometimes I watch you, uh, you reposition them, you know, when somebody's singing or somebody else is saying something. Um, how, do you, how do you feel about being part of this video ministry? Well, I didn't plan to be part of the video ministry. But it just sort of evolved uh, out of the need for us to be able to stream the service. Unfortunately, we had quite a bit of practice before COVID struck. So we were ready to go, you know, because we already had it up and going. But, uh, you know, I, it's sort of fun to me. Uh, I, I sort of like, you know, always trying to get good angles, you know, and good pictures. And I think it's quite interesting to just see how the ministry is evolving into, you know, an easier way to have outreach and for everybody to still be able to connect and get the word without having to take the risk of traveling and being in person to pick up viruses and germs and, you know, spend gas, money, and all of these other things, but still be able to participate. You know, Rondé, that's a great point that you make. I bet you there's somebody looking at this right now who's saying, you know, I really enjoy watching the church service from Plymouth United Church of Christ in my pajamas <laughs> with a cup of coffee, a cup of tea. <laughs> uh, and it's interesting that you make that point because my sermon today is entitled God's Plan B. And in God's Plan B, I'm talking about Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus uh, making the decision to, one, not only leave Egypt, uh, to go back to Bethlehem where they left from. But then, being warned in a dream, they keep going. And they go all the way to Nazareth, some, you know, almost 100 miles away. And uh, very often in life, you have to follow a plan B. And, you know, I'm listening to you talk, Rondé, and thinking about how, you know, we kind of prepared ourselves for this during the pandemic. But actually... Uh, the pandemic is a pan plan B. It's a plan B. And uh, sometimes in life, you just have to come up with a different plan. You know, you think you're going to go to uh, music school, but you end up going to medicine. 
or you know you you know think you're going to go into culinary arts and you go into the law or whatever and uh, so that's what I'm preaching on we'll be starting worship in just a few moments again uh, I'm so glad uh, that we're doing this today uh, because I want our viewers to know who are some of the people behind the scenes who are making the church uh, really happen and today after the sermon we're going to dedicate the new officers you'll get to meet the new officers and don't tell anybody but I have special awards to the chairpersons uh, you know the boards who are cycling out of their leadership but also uh, we're going to recognize members of the church who have helped us to produce this I mean and the two of you are part of it uh, during the pandemic and we're, we're coming out of the pandemic now uh, because we were able to shift into what I call God's plan B thanks so much for worshiping with us we'll be started in just a few moments and remember, I'm praying for you. <laughs> 